Hey guys, Psyche Pictures here, and welcome back to more. S I keep trying to say Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's Scarlet and Pokemon Violet in the last episode. We did some exploring. So, warning you, that's gonna happen a lot. Where we're just going to be exploring. So, this time, we're actually gonna backtrack a little bit to see if we can go to a certain area. A spare berry, nice. We're actually gonna backtrack a little bit to see if we can get to a certain area. I don't know if we'll be able to, but we might be able to. I don't know. Because there is one area that I wanted to look at. Things look dangerous ahead, better not to get too close. Okay. So we can't do that quite yet. Okay. There was a particular... I wanted to go through the cave again to see if we can get some Pokemon, but apparently it's too dangerous. So that answers that question that I had. But um, let's keep exploring across this bridge. So we've got... Some more Pokeballs. An Awakening. Nice. Awakening is pretty much the Chesto Berry. Whoa, Deerling. So, Chesto Berry and Awakening are, are the exact same thing. Where they heal sleep. Oh, you're faster than me. Tackle. Oh, you're level 7. Let's try round. Ow. Oh, nice. Good. Pokeball, go. Alright. Deerling was caught. Sweet. Hopip wants to learn Fairy Wind. So, with the Pokemon in the back of my party, I usually go and... Uh, I'll get rid of Splash. I usually go and prep them as if I'm going to use them. I don't care if I'm never going to use them and... I just... I just go and... Um, switch their moves around whenever they get a new move. It's just my way of thinking. I might use them, but more likely than not, I will not. Alright. So let's go not the way we're supposed to go. Or we're told to go. Then... Because there's actually something that I want to look for... That isn't, um... That isn't on the main path. So I'm going to just rush over there to, for the most part. Paralyzed heal. Let's look up on this hill. There might be something up here. Yep, there is something. And a cherry berry. That heals paralysis. X accuracy. Glad I came up here. That sharply increases your accuracy. I think. Either sharply increases it or just increases it. Awakening. We already did that. Sharply boosts accuracy. Yeah. Okay. That's what I needed to know. Sharply boosts, ac boosts accuracy. Cherry berry again. Then we've got... Potion. This is the area I wanted to look for because there's a certain Pokemon I want to catch. Oh, come on. No, Flamigo! Stop. Okay, whatever. Flamigo! Let's go and hit round. Heck. Ow. There we go. That's good. Um, I don't want to weaken you too much. Copycat. Uh-oh. Round. 
I didn't even know you could do copycat. But okay. Pokeball, go! Nice. Flamigo was caught. Oh, nice. That actually gave a lot of experience. Alright. Flamigo was caught. Flamigo was added to the Pokedex. Now, there's st Oh, shoot. Go down here. You see that yellow... That yellow thing in the middle? We can't get to that yet, so I'm not going to explain it. But there is something around here that I would like to catch. For my team. Uh, let's see if we can actually find it. So I can't see it quite yet. Hmm. Where is it? I don't know where it is right now. Oh, slow down. Yeah, sometimes slowdown happens if I didn't say that already. And it can be kind of annoying. No, Flamigo, no. No, Flamigo, no. No, Flamigo. There's a bunch of Azuril over here and a Psyduck. And Psyduck. And Flamigos. Where is the Pokemon that I want to catch? Should be around here. Should be around here somewhere. This is something. Ah, here it is. Whooper. So, I wanted to get a Paldean Whooper for the team. I think it would be very good to compliment, um... Wekoko, especially with the ability of Water Absorb. Hopefully this one has Water Absorb. But, um... Poison Point and Water Absorb are its abilities. It's really good with Water Absorb because it can switch in a lot. But, um... That's the main reason I wanted Paldane Wooper. Because it complements Fuecoco. It actually does complement Fuecoco really well. Let's see. Check summary. Please have the ability I want. Poison point. No. It does not. So that means I need to go and find another one. There's a bunch of Chewtool on the island, but I can't do that. I can't get the, um... Chewtool on the islands. Let's just throw the Pokeball. You're level 5. Oh! So, what just happened there... That was a critical capture. Which... What does that mean? Well, it goes in actually... Um, what, it, what a critical capture does is... It's pretty much... With critical hits... It increases the amount of power for a move. Critical capture. Critical capture pretty much increases the like, like, the likelihood of going and capturing the Pokemon. Increases the likelihood of actually catching the Pokemon. Let's see if you have the right ability. Water absorb! Yay! Nice. So I wanted to catch. Um, Wooper for the team. Uh, we'll put... We'll put Pommy back in the thing. I wanted to catch Wooper over here, first off, first and foremost. And let's heal up Fuecoco. Okay. And we've got Deerling Hair and such like that. 
I cannot learn Swift. That's weird. Huh. But... That was the main reason I wanted to come over here, at least. To get the Paldean Whooper with Water Absorb for the ability. Oh, that's a scatter bug. But... <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. So... What I want to say over here... Oh, full heal. Apparently it doesn't want me to say anything. Full heal... Heals all Pokemon... Heals all status conditions from the Pokemon. So... What was I saying? So, um... As you can probably already tell... This is very open. This... This, um... This... This game is very open. It's an open world game, so that means pr go pretty much anywhere you want to go and actually do what you what you want to do. Oh, hypnosis! Good thing I avoided that. Jeez. So, with this game, it's going to be a lot of exploration, and it's going to be a lot of just oh, look over here, look over here, look over here, and then. A little bit of story element to it. The chunk learned echo voice. Nice. Echoed voice. So, you might be hearing something in the background occasionally in the game. You might be hearing something like so. You might be hearing that. Let me go. Get out of here. Oh, level 8. Jeez. Uh-oh. Double kick. Ow. Hit two times. Run! Thank you. You might be hearing... Occasionally. That's Gimme Ghoul. That's this little thing. Go and press A near it. You can collect Gimme Ghoul coins. Collecting Gimme Ghoul coins... As I said uh, in the previous episode, I just wanted to reiterate because we couldn't really see Gimme Ghoul. Um, <clears throat> collecting Gimme Ghoul coins, once we're able to capture a Gimme Ghoul, we'll be able to evolve it once we have 999 Gimme Ghoul coins. That's a lot of drowsy, jeez. Baby bear. I just want to look around here and see what we've got over here. Because, yep. Every time you see ruins, another Gimme Ghoul, there may be a yellow light. Press A on it. You get a TM. TMs are always going to be yellow lights in the overworld. Here we got Confuse Ray. Why am I going into the boxes? I don't know. But Confuse Ray. Ghost type move that always causes the Pokemon opposing Pokemon to be confused. Really good move if you're able to learn it. Really good move. But none of my Pokemon can learn it at this point. So, yeah. That door was so weird. I can't stop wondering what's behind that weird door or lid or cover or whatever it is. Maybe a battle can take my mind off it. Okay. Challenge by Axel the Stoop. Squawkabilly! We haven't seen one of those yet. Paldean Whooper! What level is your Squawkabilly? Seven. Okay. Fuecoco, go! Alright. So as you can probably tell, this is going to be a lot of switching with trying to f <laughs> mimic. This is going to be a lot of switch training with Wooper, because Wooper is not that powerful right now. Quick attack! Ember! 
So I'm going to be doing a lot of switch training for now. Blooper will get its time to shine. Don't worry. Whoa! It went from level 4 to level 5 to level 7. Fuakako wants to learn Bite. Let's take a Pokemon. Let's... So, you've got a lot more special attack than attack. This is a physical move. Why don't we get rid of Leer? So that um, we can get a little bit more type coverage if needed. Fletchling learned Ember. Hoppip wants to learn Poison Powder. Um, I'm not going to learn that because I know it's going to learn... Oh! Here's another thing. Uh, if you s if Pokemon skip learning moves or forget old moves, they can learn them again. Open the main menu, select your Pokemon, check summary on the status screen, move to moves and stats tab, and your Pokemon can remember moves. Hoppy wants to learn Stun Spore. No, and it's Sleep Powder. Yep, that's the powder move I want to learn for uh, Hoppy. Forgot Tail Whip, learn Sleep Powder. Defeat it, Axel the student. Just what could be behind that? Wait, whoa, wait, I lost? Nice. All right. So, what he's saying there is... There's another Paldean whooper. What he was saying there is actually not just random banter. There actually is a door that is sealed around here. And I just found it. That door. That door is what he was talking about. What Axel was talking about. The door, we're not going to be going in there for an extremely long time. But I just wanted to mention it's there. Ooh. Hello. Dire hit. We'll go over at that in just a moment. And rare candy. We'll go over that in a moment. What I was going... Ooh, hello. On is Happini. Happini is... A, um... Really good Pokemon early on if you want to, um, if you want to grind for experience. Because look, it didn't take that much damage to start off with, but it has a high experience ye experience yield to it. I'm just going to switch to Flarkoko. But Happini and Chansey fam, and its family, Happini, Chansey, and Blitzy, have the highest H highest experience yield in the entire series. I think it's the entire series. Copycat used defense curl. Okay. But um Hapini does get a give a lot of experience, that's why I wanted to fight it. Pound. <laughs> okay. Hurt by its burn. Pokeball, go! I almost forgot that I wanted to catch it. Nice. I almost forgot that I didn't have Happini and wanted to catch it. 119 experience from Wooper. For Wooper. I almost said Pooper for some reason. Alright. Sweet. Got a good amount of experience from that, too. Nice. So now we've got another TM over here. TM. The TM for Psybeam. I want to see if any of my Pokemon can learn that right away. Psybeam. Nope. So it's a really good psychic type move this early on. 65 power, 100 accuracy may also confuse the target. Really good move. All right. As I said, there's gonna... There's another TM over there. As I said, there's gonna be a lot of exploration in this series. Like, we haven't even reached the first town, guys. 
We haven't even reached the first town, and we're still exploring a lot. We're exploring a lot still. So, huh. Poison Tail and Mudshot. Mudshot. Let's try that. But, um, as I said, there's going to be a lot of exploration in this entire series. In this se in this series of battle, in this uh, in this let's play, jeez, Chonk was poison. Nice, disarming voice. Not very effective because I'm a poison type. Oh yeah, sweet. I just want to face this little Chonk because it's gonna be good experience for Rupert. Eh. Or maybe not. Oh well. But, um. <clears throat> Whoa. Jeez. What I was saying earlier. What I was saying is. That, um. There's gonna be a lot of exploration. We're gonna be exploring a lot in this. So, okay. I need to explain some items. But, there's going to be a lot of exploration, a lot of just, we're looking around the areas. So, be prepared for that. Dire Hit. This sharply boosts the critical hit ratio of a Pokemon. And, it's that is probably one of the best X items out there. Dire Hit. Even though it's not technically an X item. It's a battle item, but whatever. Petra Berry heals the poison or badly poisoned status. Acid Spray. Uh, harshly lowers the target's special defense, but it's low in power. 40 power, 100 accuracy. It would be a good thing to put on Wooper at this point, but I'm not entirely sure if I want to use it right away. But at this point, it actually would be pretty good. Actually, let's look at Wooper. I haven't looked at it yet. So there's Wooper. Um, plus special defense, minus special attack. And it's more of an attacker than a special attacker. Okay. Not really complaining about that, but that looks really... But that seems really weird. But, um, now that I'm on this status screen, let's look at Fuecoco. You can see on here that it says... Press A to change moves. Press A, and then you can remember moves, forget a move, or use TMs to learn moves. You can hit remember moves, and you can learn you can any move that your Pokemon has forgotten or passed up in the entire game. You want to do this when your Pokemon evolves? Because, um, because sometimes they go and learn moves when they're fully evolved and not in their um in a basic state so w some pokemon learn different moves when they after they evolve antidote let's look at this real quick on here it says faint writing is carved into the shrine herein lie the herein lie sealed the ruinous tablets Huh. Interesting. So, that, we're not going to get, we're not going to do that for an extremely long time. Probably in the after game we'll do that, but as of right now, we're not doing that. And we're not going to be able to do that for a very long time. Not going to be able to do all that we can do there for a very long time. Experience candy small. Wait, what's that? Is that just a palmy? Yeah, okay. Just making sure. But, uh, experience candies extra small. Experience candies. Those are extremely useful. So, if you have a Pokemon that's lagging behind, as of right now, that would be my Wooper. You can take these candies, 
and give it to your Pokemon and actually have them get experience from it. So he's got 100 experience from that and give it another one, get it 100, another 100 experience and it goes to level 9. So the experience candies come in all sorts of sizes, all sorts of sizes from extra small all the way to extra large. And those are really good. Great ball. It's a better Pokeball. And there's a Gimme Ghoul there. So let's jump off the cliff. Whee! Oh, jeez. Not what I expected, but okay. Go back up. Nah. I'm not going to go back up. Let's just explore the rest of this area. And then we're probably going to end it off, actually. Because this has already been going on for a very long time. I'm the strongest in Area 1 of the South Por of the South Province. Are you sure about that? Do you think you can topple me, the mightiest martial artist here? You're probably the only martial artist here, so you're obviously the most powerful. Alejandro, the Black Belt. Sends out Rock Ruff. Okay. If you're lower level, then that's good. Oh, whoa! Level 11! And three Pokemon, too. Holy cow. That's almost the same level as my Fuecoco. Holy cow. Mudshot. Tackle. Ouch. Critical hit, too. Critical hit goes and increases the power of a move by 1.5. You're still faster than me. Mudshot. How'd you avoid Mudshot? What's the accuracy on that? 95. Okay. 5% 5 chance. Okay. <sighs> You're gonna be a challenge. Jeez. Big challenge. I'm gonna heal my Wooper. I'm gonna heal Wooper. HP restored. Leer. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, I could have beaten you without the potion. Okay. Good job, Wooper. Alright, about to send in LeChonk. Uh, um, nah. <clears throat> Chonk level 12. 11 and 12. Jeez. Holy cow. Um, Poison Tail. Let's try that. Mud Shot. Oh, jeez. I'm weak to that. And so is... Quackaco. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna send in a Sacrifice. I don't want to deal with that, and I don't want Wooper to go down. Fletchling! Mudshot! Doesn't work. Doesn't affect me. Yay! Uh, let's to Ember. I was actually, I actually used Poison Tail on LeChonk, thinking that it would go and, um, oh, defense was not lowered. Big packs. Okay. But, um, I was using Poison Tail Hoping it would go and, um, poison him, but that didn't happen. Critical hit. Echoed voice again. Oh, that was critical. Or not. Oh, you were using echoed voice several times in a row, that's why. Every time you use echoed voice several times in a row, the power increases. Oh, jeez. Uh, my team is not good for, so far my team is not good for dealing with ground types. I mean, normal types. Or ground type moves. Let's put Fuecoco out there for now. Alright. Ember! Let's try to burn you. Or defeat you. Okay. 
Wooper grew to level 10. Nice. Tarantula learned assurance. I can send him Makuhita. Ooh. Oof, Makuhita. Let's just go ahead and send in Wooper. So that it gets more experience. They get more ex Pokemon get more experience if they actually participate in the battle. Let me guess, 13? No, 12. Okay. Hmm. I think you're gonna use Arm Thrust. I'm just gonna go to Wooper. I mean, hop it. Jeez. Another sack Pokemon, because I did not expect this to be this hard to do that. I did not expect this to be so hard to do. Did not expect the levels that he had. Focus energy, oh no. You need to go down. Go hop it, fairy win. Arm thrust. Not very effective hit two times. Okay. Sleep powder. Why not? Okay. That's good. Fell asleep. Alright. Go, fairy wind. This hopip is actually dealing with this Makahita really well. Okay. Glad I taught it Fairy Wind and didn't keep Splash. Good. Good job, Hoppit. Even though you're not an official member of the team. Sweet. Oh, that was... Very well, henceforth I am the second mightiest. Oh my gosh. That was... Stupid. That was stupidly powerful for this early on in the game. I even made fun of him for... Whoa, what? I even made fun of him for being a tough trainer, but he was actually a really tough trainer. Oh, jeez. Uh, Sunkern, you have... You're... You ha I think you have a high catch rate. Or not! Growth, uh-oh. Attack Rose and special attack. Special attack Rose. I'm gonna heal. Because I did not heal at the end of the battle. Just throw the potion at it. It, it knows what to do. Oh no. Attack and special attack Rose. Uh. I want to, I want to catch you, so I'm not gonna use Poison Tail. There we go. That's good. That's after two growths. Wow, garbage stats. I know Sunkern has 30 across the board for its stats, but still, that's pathetic. That was pathetic. The amount of damage it did. All right. Sunkern has been added to the Pokedex. Sweet. And there was something over here. A Scatterbug, okay. Oh, another TM. Nice. Good thing I went this way. TM for Rock Blast. That is a physical rock type move that... Um, it's a physical rock type move that hits two to five times. 25 power and 90 accuracy. It's physical rock type move. Yeah. Nice. It's... So that move, Rock Blast, is an okay move. But it's not really one that... Um... People use unless they have a Pokemon that can... There are Pokemon that benefit from multi-hit moves. 
I don't have any such Pokemon right now. And I don't plan to get any such Pokemon that benefit from that. Whoa! Hi! Another Pokemon that I didn't expect to see. <clears throat> Oricorio. Hmm. Tackle it. Oh, you use pack. Tackle. Wow, that's all I'm doing? Poison tail. Pound. Poison tail. Boosh. Good. That's good. I don't want to hit you again because you might go down or get poisoned. Nice. Oricaria was caught. Oricaria's unique. Whoa, that's weird. Hopip wants to learn Bullet Seed. Sure, let's look at that. You have more attack than special attack. That's weird. And it does more damage than absorb right away. Even if it hits only one time. Huh. But, um, Oricario actually has four different... Four. We're not able to access all of them right away, but we'll be able to get them later. You'll be able to get them a lot later. Um, let's see. Let's head our let let let's let's let our back. Let's head back to the bridge, and then we'll go and end this off. Once we get to the bridge, return Wooper, go Fuecoco. Because I know there's gonna be items along the way, so I just want to. It's one damage. I just want to go and, um... Oh, you copied my ember. One damage! I just... I know there's going to be items along the way to the bridge, so I don't want to skip over them. Because... Okay. I'm just going to say, I'm not picking up every single item in the entire game. Because, one... This game is so open that I would be here for like three, three hours just exploring the entire area at the very least in order to find literally everything. But, um, I will not be go so I won't be going and looking at every single item you can get in the entire game. I'm not that crazy. I'm crazy to go and do a dual Let's Play of this, but I'm not crazy enough to go and actually show everything. TM. TM for Endure. If you use that move, you can go and... Um, you will go and hang on to 1 HP if you take lethal damage. And it, the first time you use it, it works. Second time you use it in a row. Wait, what's that? Is that a side up again? Okay, yeah. Second time you use it in a row, you're going to be, it's going to be 50% that it'll work. And then 25% chance that it'll work and so on. So... A good way to use it is just um, use it the first time and then use a move, then use it the second time. So, we actually did a lot in this episode. We didn't make much headway. We didn't make any headway to the next town. But we did go... And oh, you can find Paldea and Wooper over here? I didn't know that. But, uh... Anyway, oh, there's the Gimme Ghoul again. Gimme Ghoul do refresh every single real-time day. But just, just keep that in mind. They refresh every single day. But with all that said and done, this has been Psyche Pictures. And I'm dizzy. See you guys next time.